Thanks for having me at a really game-changing event for seaweed, which is taking centre stage, obviously, in Europe and Australia. And I'd love to present the Australian solution on getting seaweed onto people's plates. Seaweed's indeed a $6 billion global crop in the East, and the West is only just learning how to include seaweed in its diet through sushi and things like that. But we want to make it mainstream, and we at FICO Food Co. make food from seaweed, but anything but sushi. We're trying it with the Australian seaweed providors. We're growing a unique Australian seaweed species on the south coast of New South Wales, um, and we're putting it into food products that are fun and easy for people to eat. We've made it that fun, in fact, that the um, Australian National Fine Food Awards this year put seaweed um, on the competition um, radar, and we achieved um, silver, bronze, and some gold medals for our seaweed products at the National Food Awards this year. You can see here we're farming a green endemic species of Australian seaweed. That means it's only found in Australia. It's not the nori, it's not the wakame. This is a new species of seaweed, and we don't just grow one type of um, agricultural crop on land, and nor should we be growing a limited number of seaweed species in the ocean. So we're working with the green seaweed. We're putting it into things like pasta, but we're making a traditional pasta. The national dish in Australia is spaghetti bolognese, eaten every night of the week in the most number of households. And if you just change the normal pasta for this pasta, you're getting your seaweed without even thinking about it. We've also made a nice ducker, which we now call fuka, because everything we, we grow starts with pH. FICO, pH, is the study of seaweeds and algae, and that's why we've added the word FICO to the menu. Why seaweeds? Because seaweed is potent. It's injecting things that are seriously deficient in our mainstream food system in the Western diet. Minerals and trace elements from the ocean, obviously, things like iron and iodine. We're actually aware of that. Omega-3, that's the source of where omega-3s come from, and they're actually accumulated in the food chain. And uh, dietary fiber, we're chronically deficient in dietary fiber and protein. Our seaweed's 40% protein. So FICO Food Co. is fun, but we're also really about nutrition. Who are we targeting with this nutrition? As I mentioned, the West has a serious problem. 35% of Australians will be obese, it's predicted, in 2025. Not overweight, obese. And the stress on our health budgets is enormous. Food production has a responsibility in overcoming the challenges on the health budget. Chronic malnutrition is not necessarily how much you eat, but what are the nutritional deficiencies we need to inject into the food system again so people aren't just eating empty calories and packing on these diabetes challenges? So what are we delivering in the nutrition? Specifically dietary fibres, which I mentioned. We're deficient by about 50% in dietary fibres, and these are essential as a prebiotic. We've done clinical trials with our seaweed dietary fibres. We've reversed pre-diabetes in a population of 64 people, reducing bad cholesterol, insulin requirements, and inflammation. And we've shifted the gut flora all the way down in the colon to protect from leaky gut syndrome um, and uh, associated diseases. We've also recovered trace elements and minerals by putting seaweed into our snack bars. Not only that, we've turned seafood back into seafood. Even abalone are eating cornflakes effectively, and their nutritional profile isn't the same. So we have, in scientific studies, upped the omega-3 content again in abalone, which is a premium crop in Australia. So no need, no need for um, salt bush lamb anymore. We have seaweed abalone. So how do we do this? We are seaweed farmers. Coming from a scientific background and a focus on remediation, we now no longer capture nutrients from aquaculture. We're integrated with a wheat refinery. Seaweed production closing the loop on the processing of one of our major Australian crops means that we are absolutely scalable. We capture carbon dioxide from fermentation to ethanol, and we capture the nutrients from the waste processing of wheat. We mix it with seawater and sun, and we're closing the loop on wheat refinery and creating a 40% nutritionally potent new crop that can be put into the mainstream food system. The company we do that through is Venus Shell Systems, and the focus there is sustainability. So through Venus Shell Systems, which is our farm, 
to FICO Food Co., which is the fork, we're really addressing the theme of the conference here today. We're 100 tonnes per hectare in annum, the fastest biomass production with 40% protein. We're traceable to the genetic barcode of the species. Our market strategy at the moment, and we've achieved, is um, the small premium um, niche um, markets to start with in providors and, and produce um, events. But by 2017-18, we plan to have a $1.8 million revenue from um, our pilot farm production and growing to a hectare of 100 tonnes, we plan to target the Whole Foods concept and getting uh, an off-the-shelf range into the supermarkets. I'll jump to the, we are, the FICO Food Co. is seriously scalable, sustainable and game-changing nutrition. And I'd, I'd welcome anyone to come and see us in the um, Food Bites Court and I'll explain our investment opportunities to get to one hectare and 100 tonnes of seaweed ingredient, which will be 1,000 tonnes of seaweed food product within a 12-month period. This is building on an Australian legacy and a Van Diemen's Land legacy, which I'll raise here tonight. Aboriginal Australia used seaweeds 35,000 years ago in water carriers and nutrition, and we're just trying to re re recapture that innovation from so long ago. Thank you. Thank you. Michael, you have a, a question for Pierre? Michael has a... Thanks for a great presentation, Pierre. Um, I, I just wanted to know, you rushed through the, the ask Yes. Uh, you're raising money at the moment. How much are you looking to raise and what uh, are the use of proceeds? So we've had two lots of startup farm raising investments. We've raised um, close to a million dollars to date for our pilot production. We're now looking to scale to a hectare, which will be a five million dollar raise in about six months' time. And that's after we've finished our calculations on, on, the, um, on the one hectare pilot farm. Um, and that includes a processing factory that will even deliver the medical grade extracts that we work with. Five million dollars in six months would be great.